Hello. Yeah, so I've been seeing beach these beach memes beach. all over the internet. I got to tell you about this beach. It made me old. You have to know that's not possible. Look at me, man. I'm old as hell. And it's because I, I went to the beach that makes you old. There are a million reasons why you might look the way you look. I'm not going to entertain the idea that a beach could make you old. Wait. Actually, I think it's the rocks on the beach, not the, the beach, beach makes them old. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. So basically, AI has got to the point where you can upload a small snippet of someone talking, and then you can make a clone of their voice and get them to say anything you want. And sure, that's super morally fucked up and will have a huge amount of social and geopolitical ramifications, but I don't want to think about that. I want Joe Rogan to tell me about the beach that makes him old. In fact, the tech is so good that this whole time, this voice has been AI generated. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not true at all. That's a lie. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is really me. Uh, but I got you, a few of you are like, whoa. So I wanted to jump on this to see if I could do anything in my videos or just, I don't know, play around, have some fun. So I'm using a program called Eleven Labs. There's other programs out there that do this, like Descript and, um, I, that's all I know, but that, that's another Suck one. On anyway, mind. Eleven Labs claims they only need five minutes of audio recording in order to completely clone your voice, which is, that's not enough, surely. Um, uh, so first up, we're going to test my voice. We're going to see if I can automate my job, uh, which is, uh, concerning. Luckily, I'm a YouTuber, so I have plenty of voice recordings of me just talking about random shit. So I grabbed some of the voiceover from my latest video, about like 10, 15 minutes worth of audio recordings, and then chucked it into Eleven lives and let's see what we got. So we're going to test it and see if it can dub over one of my other videos that I've done on this channel. It's the Can ChatGPT Play Pokemon video. And yeah, let's see what happens. ChatGPT has proved itself as capable of doing many jobs, programmer, songwriter, marketer, transphobic Jerry Seinfeld, but will it take the most important job of all? That's right, can ChatGPT be a Pokemon master? Today we will find out. Oh, it is. Okay. That is bad. <laughs> that is not my voice at all. Uh, it's really American, which is interesting. I guess that's its default nationality. I know you can add tags and stuff and you can say like, oh, the accent's Australian, make it sound Australian. Uh, but I didn't do any of that. And I don't want to do any of that because the main reason why I'm making this video is this beautiful slider right here. Christmas must have come early this year because we got a stability slider. And you bet we're going to bring that bad boy right the fuck down to zero. Okay, let's not keep you waiting. This is what I sound like with zero stability. Uh, chat GPT has proved itself as capable of doing many jobs, programmer, songwriter, uh, 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 marketer, transphobic Jerry Seinfeld, but will it take the most important job of all? Uh, that's right. Can chat GPT be a Pokemon master? Uh, today we will find out. <laughs> okay, so here's the, the plan we, we're going to feed in the current state of the game as a prompt to uh, chat GPT and whatever it says to do. We do uh, the prompt to will be something like this. Uh, uh, you're playing Pokemon Fire Red and are currently in a battle. You're Pokemon currently in play is a level 5 Pikachu with uh, HP at 1025. Pikachu knows Tackle and Tail Whip. Uh -oh. The enemy Pokemon is a, a level 6 Charmander with HP at 1233. Which move should Pikachu use? Tackle or Tail Whip? Uh, so can ChatGPT play Pokemon? Uh, well, uh, we did lose it to a LVL2 Pidgey, so I am leaning towards a no, but uh, but it was fun at least. Fun in a really frustrating way, but fun nonetheless. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it. I might make the adventures of Altast and Squirt into a series. I had fun making it. Also, I'll try to figure out the emulator sound problems. It was funny at first, but after editing this shit for hours, its charm wears off. Also, fuck everyone who said I wouldn't even last a week on this bet. Look at this. Week two, video two, <laughs> he crushing it. Okay, yeah, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you next week. Be here. So yeah, that was haunting. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? Are we, wow, that actually, when I first heard this, this actually scared the shit out of me. It feels like it's insulting me in some way. Like I, I stutter a lot. I guess I do, but it like really enhanced that aspect. And so it just had like a mental breakdown whenever it started a new sentence, which I guess is... <laughs> this is Evan at stability zero. Not that I'm rocking great points in that category as is, but yeah, I'm, I do better than that. Huh? What's that? I, I didn't say anything. What? You want to hear what a mentally deranged Obama sounds like? <laughs> okay, we don't leave this guy. Whoa. Okay, here's what I prepared earlier. Go! My fellow Americans, today we gather here to witness a historic moment in the evolution of artificial intelligence. The chat GPT, the language model trained by OpenAI, has shown its capabilities in many fields, from programming to songwriting to marketing. <laughs> but the question on everyone's mind is, can ChatGPT become a Pokemon master? <laughs> well, my friends, we have put ChatGPT to the test. We have fed it the current state of the game as a prompt. And we're about to find out if ChatGPT has what it takes to make it in the world of Pokemon. <laughs> Picture this, my fellow Americans. You're playing Pokemon Fire Red. And you're in the heat of battle. Your Pikachu is at level 5 with an HP of 10 out of 25. 
your opponent's Charmanders at level six with an HP of 12 out of 33. Which move should Pikachu use? Uh, tackle or tail whip? Uh, we fed this prompt to chat GPT and the results were mixed. We did lose to a level two Pidgey, so I'm leaning towards a no on whether chat GPT can become a Pokemon master. But my friends, we had fun nonetheless. And that's what it's all about. Having fun, even in the face of adversity, we might not have won this battle, but we've shown that anything is possible with determination and hard work. So, my fellow Americans, I ask you this. Did you enjoy this video? Would you like to see more like it? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> and who knows, maybe we'll turn the adventures of Altast and Squirt into a full-fledged series. Uh, before I go, let me just say this. <laughs> To all those who said I wouldn't last a week on this bet, look at me now. <sighs> we're in week two, and we're crushing it. <clears throat> and to those who doubted ChatGPT's abilities, well, let's just say that ChatGPT might surprise us yet. Thank you, and God bless America. <laughs> okay, that was mentally deranged Obama. Uh, yeah. Now you know what that would be like, I guess. That's it for the video. I don't know why you're here. I don't know why I made this. Fuck, I, we're all going to die. That seems to be the motto of most of these videos. Um, but for the time being, it's pretty funny. All right, see you next week.